let's learn how to add accurately aligned text to the rectangular grid in Illustrator in this simple tutorial. So with Illustrator open, I'm just going to create a simple print-based document. So let's go to File, New, let's come to Print, and I'm just going to set my document up for US letter format with a landscape orientation. Click Create. So with the document open, let's go ahead and add a rectangular grid. So make sure my fill is white and my stroke is black. Come to my grid tool, select, and then just click on the canvas. Now I'm going to set up a 31 day tracker. I'm doing this because I want to show you how to use this method when you say have a grid that needs lots of individual numbers or labels. So don't worry about the size for now. I'm going to rearrange this with the selection tool on the canvas. Let's set the horizontal dividers to 10 and let's set our vertical to 31 because we have 31 days in a month. Make sure we use outside rectangle as a frame and we're going to fill the grid with white as well. So from there, click OK. So there's my grid. Let's select it with selection tool and just bring it onto the canvas. Let's use the align tools to horizontal and center align this. And let's grab my direct selection tool. I'm just gonna click and drag over these anchor points and just drag these out, holding shift. So this is where I would put my individual labels, whatever it's for. And then from here then is my day one all the way through to day 30. So select with selection tool. Let's align this again to the artboard. And with everything selected, come to the Pathfinder tool. Can't find it, window Pathfinder. And let's divide the shape using the Pathfinder, right click, ungroup, and now you can see here I've got individual sections of the grid that have a white fill and a black stroke. So let's just Command or Control Z to undo these, and I'm going to group this back up. So highlight all with selection tool, right click, and group. So the goal of this tutorial is to add the numbers 1, 2, 3, all the way through to 31 to these grids so that they align perfectly with the width of the grid. And also the text remains fully customizable so you can change weight, font, whatever you like in one quick swoop. So first things first, we need to know the width of one of these grids. So if I command to control plus to zoom in, I'm going to grab one with the direct selection tool. And if I come to the stroke panel, I'm actually going to put the stroke inside because I want the width of just the rectangle and not the additional stroke. So with this selected, let's come to my transform and here you see the width is 7.057. So remember this number, really important, 7.057. Obviously this will be different for you, but this is the width I need when setting up my tabs. So I'm gonna select this number and just Command or Control C to copy it, close the transform panel, and then let's just grab my eyedropper tool and let's switch this back to the stroke of the other grids, selection tool, and let's just zoom out. I'm gonna lock this grid in place. So select it all with selection tool. I'm gonna to object, lock and selection. And now if we command or control plus to zoom in, grab my type tool and I'm gonna click and drag out a type box, the width of these 31 grids. And if I go to view smart guides, the smart guides will help me do this. So hover over until I see path and click and drag out a type box to the other side, let the smart guides help me and release. Just gonna quickly type something into this type box. I'm just gonna press one and two. I'll do the remaining numbers later. And from there come to window, type and the tabs panel. And let's just click and drag this tabs panel up so that it's not covering my type box. Select a center line tab, not a left line. So select the center, click anywhere on this ruler here. So let's just click here. And in the X axis, now we're going to paste in the width of one of our grids. So if I command or control V, there we go, 7.057 press enter and that will now set the width and from there if I come over to this right hand options icon select and press repeat tab this will now repeat the tab an infinite number of times. From here now with the type tool selected I can return to my type box and I can add in my numbers tabbing every time so let's select one press tab select two let's tab and then after the two then press tab and three press tab and four tab and five and so on and so forth until you get to 31. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And let's just use my selection tool. I'm just going to drag out the type box here so that we've got number 31 there. So we've got all our numbers perfectly tabbed now to the width of the grid. So all I need to do now is shift them over to the left-hand side, half the length of the grid, so that they then center align with the center of the grid. So remember that amount I had. I just use my type tool, 7.057, so we want half of this. So if I just come to my calculator, that's to 7.057 divided by 2 equals 3.5285. I'm just going to write this down so I remember it and I can quit my calculator. So now that I have my number, grab my selection tool, but select the text box and then come to transform. So on the x-axis, I've got 169.525 and I'm going to minus 
3.5285 and press enter and that will now shift it across half the length of the width of a grid and there you go I've now got all my numbers center aligned to the grid and the great thing about this is because we've got a center aligned tab I can go into any of these numbers and say you know say for example I add 2 here 42 that stays central but it doesn't shift the other numbers as well so everything stays perfectly central in line with the grid and this remains fully customizable so select with selection tool if I come to my character panel I can change the weight here as you can see I can change baseline shift I can change spacing between numbers I can change the font as well color whatever you want and all of these remain perfectly aligned with the center of the grids so that way you don't have to go in with the type tool and click or create a type box for every individual grid. You can do this all in one go and everything remains fully customizable while staying in position so that it looks central to the grid. And once you're done with your tabs panel, you can simply just check X to get rid of it. And if you need to go back to it any time, window, type and tabs. So there you have it. If you're using a rectangular grid in Illustrator, that's how you can add perfectly aligned text to it using tabs so that the text stays perfectly aligned to the individual grids whilst remaining fully customizable. So I really hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.